Hey, Mr. Garage here, and I have with me a P261 Ryobi three-speed half-inch impact. I'm gonna be doing a little review on this today because all the reviews I've seen I didn't like because they're really taking off very small um, nuts and things that it's, that's not what I need out of a half-inch impact. Now, to me, this is more toyish compared to say some of the earthquake models or Milwaukee or, or some of the other uh, uh, electric impacts that are getting up in the 1200 plus foot pounds. And Ryobi just has not stepped up to the table and provided a half inch impact that really has a lot of ugga duggas. This thing's got uh, 300 foot pounds and I'm hoping it's good enough to take off truck lug nuts that are rated or that are torqued down about to about 90 foot pounds. I don't know if it will. It's rated at 300, but that does not mean it's gonna do lug nuts. Um, if it can't, I really have no use for this tool. But that's my purpose of doing the video because all the other videos are doing small stuff. I, I need it to do a little bit bigger stuff and I want to see if it could. So it was worth the purchase because I, I love using Ryobi stuff because I got a lot of battery packs. I got a lot of their tools and it stuff does really good. But Ryobi really needs to step up to the table and make a really good powerful half inch impact not these little 300 foot pounders i mean this is 10 year old tech here when it comes to electric impacts it's nothing nothing new to have 300 foot pounds and a half inch so um i'm going to take the tool we're going to throw a uh, socket on it and let's go see if we can take off some um some lug nuts that are torqued to 90 foot pounds and if we can then yeah i'm going to keep this thing and then i'll talk about some of the other pros and cons of what i like about this little impact so all right, so walking up to one of my old forerunners here, and I just verified these are torqued to 90 foot pounds. And that's really my question is one of the main things I need this gun to do is just take off lug nuts. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to put it down to speed one. Let's see what it does on speed one for something a little bit bigger here. And uh, let's see how this does. So. Ooh. All right, so speed one's a bit of a struggle bus. That wasn't too great. So let's try speed two. Let's see how it does on another one. Okay, speed two took one off, so I don't think speed three is gonna have any problem. That really surprised me. I didn't expect it to take it off that easy. So let's take a look here. This really is the first time I've used this, so cool. Let's try this one. Blew it right off. All right, that is awesome. I am, colored me impressed on this. I didn't expect it to take those off. I was just seeing it do little 65 foot pound torque to car nuts and it was doing okay, but it just did 90 foot pound lug nuts. So um, another thing I like about this, I mean, it's compact, it's small. It uses my little four amp hour batteries. I've got a lot of um, easy to flip it forward and reverse and the trigger is variable. So you don't have to give it full ugga dugga. You can just do it partial. That's about the only other pro I really like. I mean, it's got lights on it, little LED lights, but yeah, whatever. I don't really care for that, but um, don't need them, but it works. So that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that answers your question. If you're wondering if this could actually do larger lug nuts, I'm gonna go get my torque wrench before I forget to retorque these, get this on, but I would give this a pass. This is gonna find a home in my shop. I didn't know if I was gonna eBay this right after this video, so this is cool. Um, anyways, yeah, subscribe, watch my videos, and I will catch you guys later. I appreciate you watching. Talk soon.